Well hello and welcome back to Tips for New Quad Flyers. Today I'm talking about air mode, um, why you should use it and what happens if you don't, the difference between using air mode and not using air mode, which I hope is going to be useful for you. Now I've been wanting to do an air mode video for a while but I realised that I'd need to talk a little bit about beta flight in terms of how you set a mode and, and getting familiar with that. So that's the reason I set up a playlist called beta flight basics. So if you haven't checked it out and especially the bit about modes, here's the link to the modes bit and check the rest of it if you like. Now I'm going to show you uh, my flight and the stick cam to go through things with. I just wanted to say that today um, I'm going to be using a different quad. Normally this is the quad I've used for all the other videos I've done of this um, but one of the things I wanted to show because we're using air mode is the quads in shot which they aren't on this one. So for today's flights I was using this little B Fight 210 where you can see the props, it's quite handy. But let's have a look at how I got on in the field and I'll be back just to talk a little bit more. Now just before we get going, uh, I need to apologise because there was some really bad wind noise on here. I've got a microphone for my GoPro but I couldn't use it because if it's close to my radio it picks up interference. So it was so bad on some of the bits, what I'm going to have to do is redub them with the original things I said, even though that's going to sound really a bit weird. But I figured it was better than subtitles. So if you hear weirdness and, uh, you know, lack of any ambient noise, that's a, a couple of little dub bits. But I've kept the original <laughs> as much as I could. Well, hi, everybody. I hope you can hear me because there's a bit of wind here. We're going to be talking about air mode, which I am now in. Now, the first thing to say about air mode is that it's not a flight mode, it's an addition. So it says air down at the bottom, and if I turn it off, it says acro. But we're still in acro, we've just added air mode. So one thing air mode does is spin the props even if you have zero throttle. So if I go up and say no throttle, you can see the props still go. Obviously we fall, but they still go. And this is important because it keeps the PID loop running. So if I go to zero, I can still make manoeuvres and stuff. And this is of course very crucial if you're, you know, going to do things like inverted your spins and other things like that. Where the object is to punch, go to zero throttle, do your manoeuvre, come back on the throttle. So what I wanted to show you is what would happen if you didn't have that. And this is where it's a bit scary and I have to take a deep breath because what would generally happen is the quad goes out of control. So let's take it off air mode and let's see what happens when we try something like that in acro. So, we get some height so we can hopefully recover. If I go out of... <laughs> I didn't even have time to see the props stop spinning. They just went. So that's pretty scary. Did you see the way it just went off like that? Let's do that one more time. Because I'll show you what else you don't have, and that's in the control. So we go nice and high, and if I try and move, nothing happens. And we <laughs> we get it rescued. <laughs> oh, that's good for getting the heart going, let me tell you. So it's even worse if you do that in the middle of a manoeuvre. So if I was in air mode, and I was to go up and go spin and stop, it goes perfect, yeah? Let's try that. Oh, this is where it's going to go down. Uh, in normal acro mode and hope to hell we can recover here we go so we go up we do a spin and nothing happens because I took my power off too soon <laughs> so let's spin and take power off see if that works and spin take power off and it's out of control I recover Oof. that is frightening so another thing to note, with air, I, I said about air mode being mode, if I was to go into stabilise mode, I can then put air mode on and it still works the same. And again, I can take air mode off if I could remember where the switch is. Oh God, let me take it out of stabilise, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. So, if I take air mode off, go into stabilise, throttle off, it falls out again. But it's a little bit easier to recover. Oh, yeah, back on. So there you go. Um, so air mode, an addition, One. but a mode you should have if you're going to do any sorts 
of acrobatics because as soon as you drop that throttle to zero which you want to do you will lose all control of your quad and it is quite hard to recover but with air mode you can do what you like so the setup of air mode aside from the switch and the actual mode setting normally there's nothing to do the only thing to be aware of if something does go wrong so normally if you're doing air mode and you throttle right down and you turn over let's say you do a flip and you come back and it should stop it should stop dead on absolutely occasionally i've had quads and they just seem to have gone out of control a bit like where i was just using acro mode without air mode they started spinning and spinning and they were hard to recover what this normally is is with uh, air mode on d-shot there's something called the motor idle percentage this is the percentage of the power the motors will actually spin at occasionally if this is too small for the motors the motors will stutter and stall and this will effectively make the quad spin wildly because it's got no power going through to those motors if that's the case if you go into the configuration tab and try raising your motor idle throttle value up a couple of percent and see how that does for you now if you're not using d-shot you've got the minimum throttle and normally it's quite conservative. It, it's set by default to 1070, which is about right. You can check that's correct. Go onto the motor test tab, obviously take your props off, move the slider to save under to the wrist and just raise up that master. And what you want is for all your motors to be spinning fine without any sort of juddering or stuttering. And, and take that figure and add about 20 to it as a safety margin. And that should be your min throttle. Um, if it's sort of below 1070, you shouldn't worry too much. When you invert and you spin the props, you expect it to be sucked towards the ground at great speed. When it's idling at this amount, although it looks like it's quite fast on the ground, it's not that much. So the, the difference between like 1050 and 1070 is, is not great. If, if you were to flip like full throttle, you'd really notice the difference as you went down. But this is, this is no big deal. As I mentioned, the only other thing to be aware of is landing now some people like air mode active all the time which you can set up via uh, the configuration tab some people like it sort of as an acro and an acro with uh, air mode on, on a switch I, I have a separate switch to switch air mode on and off as I like it and that's because as I said when I land I like to sort of come in low and then as I land I throttle down all the way the prop stop other people they sort of like to come in sort of break uh, and then just above the ground they might disarm and just drop uh, to the soft ground. It kind of depends where you're landing. The reason I want to be quite accurate about this is because where I've got long grass, I find it quicker for me to, that I can throttle down straight away instead of having to sort of fumble for a switch quickly. But that bit's up to you. Um, all It's all down to personal preference really, whatever works for you. Anyway, that's air mode. I hope you find it useful and uh, you all turn it on to fly with because if you're doing any type of acrobatics, it, it really needs to be in there. Even just your casual flip and roll, you should have something on so you don't sort of throttle down and go crazy out of control. Questions and comments, of course, down below and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.